so uh, if you've seen, I've been making my entire shop a mess, welding and grinding all this mess down. Um, I've got my basic profile for the chassis welded up. And uh, the idea that I had on this to save time and to cure some of the issues that I had when I started my lowrider build, trying to make two exact frame rails. So my my plan is make one rail and cut it in half. That way I have two even C-channeled chassis rails. That's why I bought the uh, bandsaw, but I went and got uh, spent 20 bucks on some metal blades for the bandsaw. And this metal is just too thick, so it will not cut it. So I'm going to have to try to cut this entire chassis in half perfectly with the Dremel. <laughs> and luckily I, I did buy some uh, new Dremel bits. So uh, that's where we're at now. Um, I do have some other plans for the joints to reinforce them with some uh, brazed steel plate. And it will add to the look and hopefully add to the strength. Not that it really needs it because this isn't going to... This RC is not going to exert the force needed to break these very, very bad stick welds that I put on here. But it'll help hide some of the ugliness and uh, hopefully make it look a little better. So, uh, next I got to decide if I'm going to go ahead and do my braces or do I want to go ahead and cut this thing in half. So I, my using a little sheet metal to reinforce it, mainly just for looks, didn't work. So I went ahead and filled in some of the gaps in the weld with uh, uh, solder, brazed it in. Um, I ground it down somewhat smooth. You can't take it to perfectly level or it will really not do anything. Uh, still pretty rough, but I think the next step is I'm going to go ahead and try to cut it in half. And... <laughs> Like I said, I originally bought that bandsaw to rip it right down the middle. I was going to do it like this so that everything is square and both halves will be identical. But uh, I'm going to have to try to do it with the Dremel now. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I've got to get it pretty well centered. And it's just going to be tedious and time consuming. I'm probably going to run through quite a few of my Dremel cutoff wheels. And uh, yeah, so we'll definitely fast forward this section. fought battle but I've split it it is in two and uh, it's looking pretty good um, edges are still kind of jagged next step is gonna be put them put it on the uh, bench sander try to smooth down the insides get them even thickness and hopefully it all stays together <laughs> so that's yeah, been I've used up almost all my Dremel bits about $20 worth. I know there's probably an easier way to do this. I don't have a that little bandsaw that I bought. I've bought some metal blades for it and it helped me get there get finished here at the end but it it just wasn't enough to cut that metal in a timely manner. So um, yep I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on the uh, sander see if we can't smooth it out a little bit. Alright guys I'm calling this video a wrap. I uh, got it cut. Cleaned it up a little bit. There's still some jagged edges here and there but um, we're still a ways from getting that cleaned up. There's no point in messing with it right now. 
And it's been a few days since I started this video, so I'm ready to wrap it up. My shop is a disaster. All the metals, dust, and everything everywhere, so... Eh, a lot of cleaning to do. Yay. But, there's the basic chassis. I got the rails. I don't have any cross members yet. I've got to start looking at suspension and how I'm going to do stuff like that. That's going to determine where cross members go. Um, don't mind these. These are just magnets. My welding magnets that I've got holding it in place. Uh, round about where the axles will be. The front uh, chassis ends about level with the wheel. And the front axle is going to be hanging out front. And uh, I think, I, hopefully I'll have one of the bodies here pretty soon. So I can start doing mock-ups. I think the body is going to set pretty close to the back of the cab. Or the back of the chassis right here. The back of the truck cab will be right there close to it, but I'm just going to wait and see. I don't really have an, a clear idea on how big my cab is that I've got. I'm hoping it matches with the other with the other rat rod back there, but only one way to find out. So, uh, yeah, that's a lot of work. I do plan on grinding the whole thing down and getting it all nice and smooth and bare metal, and we'll probably just leave it like that and let it rust itself over time. But uh, anyways, yep. I'm going to call this one a wrap. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. Got a long way to go.